guys, I'm back with another video. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. For returning subscribers, welcome back. And for those of you who do not know, I'm paid on a weekly basis. I'm trying to balance my life and my finances while sharing my budgeting journey with you guys. So let's get started. All right, guys, this is going to be a cash stuffing and this is for the fourth pay of April. And the total amount that we're working with this week is not written down here. That is great. Let me do some math. Okay. So I have four dollars, one hundred and twenty, seventy, one forty, and one fifty. So we're looking at four hundred and eighty-four dollars. Let me count this out and make sure that's correct, and then let's get to stuff in. All right. So we have fifty, one hundred, one fifty, uh, one seventy, one ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty, two seventy. 290, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. There we go. Better. Okay. So let me put everything where it needs to go. This 20 looks super fake to me. I mean, it, I don't know. It, it's not even newer. I don't know. It just looked really weird. And like I got it from the bank, but still, it's like, uh, it was kind of debatable. But I was in a rush. I was like, okay, let's do it. So I just left. So hopefully, I'm not, I mean, it has that line, that inner lining on it where you can kind of tell if it's fake or not. But I don't have one of those counterfeit markers. So mm, let's just hope. <laughs> okay, so let's first do the. Oh, let's see what we have going on here. So there's my change. And then let me, I think I should probably just leave my envelopes in here. And yes, I have some money left over. I told you guys I did so good. I think I'm just like, I don't need anything. What do I need? Nothing. Just move on. Okay, so as far as the change goes, let's see. Oh. Okay, we have a good amount here. So let me move this out of the way and then let me bring in my coin tray. So let me move these. Okay, so, oh, this it this feels super heavy. Something's wrong with me. I'm like, this doesn't feel right. This money looks fake. This coin's too heavy. I don't know. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Everyone is staying safe. Oh my goodness. I was just really surprised that I didn't do any spending. But you know what though? I have to say that's because I was like, we're not going to stop anywhere. And we usually stop at like Dollar Tree or we'll stop at um, Yogurt Teeny for the girls. And we didn't do that. I had told my daughters that if they got 100% on their spelling test, we would stop at Yogurt Teeny. And they did not. So we did not stop. And I was like, mm -mm, no. And they kind of knew that I really don't. Um, let up on things like that. So then even question. Okay. There's a change. Nothing needs to Nothing needs to be I'm gonna wait on that it needs to be rolled yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move this out of the way So now let's see what we have left. Okay, so I stuffed every envelope I believe last week. So dine out had two dollars left food had nothing fun had three Kiddos has six, but I'm going to leave that in there. Shop had nothing. So for my $1, I have one, two, three, four, and five. So this is going to go into my $1 savings challenge, which is in my third video that I do for the week. So let's, okay, dine out. Let me first get my breakdown here. Dine out gets nothing. My fuel's online. Fun money, nothing. Okay, groceries gets $150, and that's these $350s right here. So I'm gonna put those there. Fun gets nothing. Kids spending gets their five. So let's put that in there. Okay, and that is it for my wallet. So that total amount was 155. Usually I just toss things, but I'm like, I really don't wanna toss her. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the kids binder and the total amount for my kids binder is going to be $50 this week. So I have four kids, each kid gets $10. And 
even for my 20 year old son who does not live with me and who is now married so guys the wedding was so beautiful it was done outdoors it was windy it was a little warm but not too bad but it was such a good night everybody had fun i got to spend so much time with my grandbabies there it was great okay so my son's getting a 10 and as i told you guys previously we gave them 250 as a wedding gift so he only had eight dollars in there and now he has 18 so i'm going to build him back up and i believe they're going to save that money for their honeymoon which is going to be in like a year or two i think they had told me but they got a pretty good amount of money so i'm hoping oh i didn't update this side so mm, i'll just go I have to change those but anyway okay so I'm gonna leave this like this so my daughter is also transferring over 10% to her savings account that's online so that was $96 and then I'm gonna give her a 10 so let's see and she I really need to condense her envelope it's getting pretty ridiculous so she should have 65 cash so she has 1,000 1,200 1,300 1,400 in the bank but she has did i count that right i think i added it 1300 in the bank but she also has 70 i don't have that placeholder and then she also has that 96 so her total amount is 1531 as far as cash goes she has 10 20 30 40 50 55 57 59 61 63 64 65 dollars cash so that is correct and then we can do the math really quick. In the bank, she has 1370 plus her 96. No, 1370 plus 96, $1,466 in the bank. And that is for her to do with what she wants once she decides to move out. So she's still living with me, of course, because she's still in high school. This is going to be her last year. She's a senior and she is also currently working so she is doing um online schooling which is working out so much better for her and i mean i'm pretty sure baby girl's gonna live with me forever but i told her like you're not gonna want to do that and i'm pretty sure you're not gonna want a roommate so you know just like do what you want girl okay so for my little one, so my double digit baby and my eight year old daughter, they get the same amount every week. So I'm only gonna count out my double digit baby. I'm not gonna count out the baby. So my double digit baby has 500, 600, 700 in the bank. And then she has for cash, 10, 20, 30, 35, 37, 39, 41, 42, $43. So $743. So that is really good. And she doesn't know the exact amount that she has thank god but she's so funny she calls herself a hundred air a hundred air i'm a hundred air mom i'm like yes you are baby <laughs> okay so baby gets the same okay i don't think oh the only update which i think i already told you guys but the only update with my kids is that my eight-year-old is in Thai. she's doing awesome she got her white belt and she also got her green tape so yay i'm so happy for that Okay, so for kids' birthdays, that's going to get a five. So now for my kids' birthdays, there is a hundred in the bank. That's what this placeholder is for. So cash, I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So 149 total. We don't have any birthdays coming up until September. Both of my younger daughters were born in September. So we used to do a joint, a joint birthday when they were younger. But now that they're older, Double Digit Baby likes to have her own. And then the baby usually has her own as well. So we'll see what happens when that time comes. And this is getting on my nerves. Okay, so for my other kiddos, that's my nieces, nephews, and grandbabies. They are going to get a five. Now they have 10, 20... 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 dollars. There are no plans for this. It's just like if I want to get them something. I did get my grandbabies extra items for Easter. Easter was beautiful. We had the entire family over. I had my son and his new wife. And we also had um, my in-laws over my entire um my, my whole husband's family came over and it was just a really good fellowship. We had a really good time and the kids had a blast too. They got a swim and we cooked out. It was a lot of fun. 
Okay. Oh, and then my mother-in-law brought me flan. That is my ultimate favorite dessert is flan, but it has to be made right. So let me know down below what your guys' favorite dessert is. If you're not a sweet person, like what your favorite food is. I, I am very curious to know because a lot of people don't really like flan. And that's all right. You know, do you? Okay. Car maintenance is going to get five. And again, this needs to be con this needs to be condensed. This is ridiculous. All of this is a little out of control, I think. I'm going to look into my back to bank envelope and see what I have in there during this. Okay, so I put five in car maintenance. Car maintenance, this is for my cars, my insurance deductible. My goal is 500, so if anything were to happen, I have that 500 in here for that. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. Okay, so 173. Now let me see. Okay, so I have some 20s in here. Let me see if I can condense this at all. So I already have those 20s. Oh, sweet Lord. So I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> I don't want to get confused. <laughs> okay, so one, two, then I could do a 10. So two 20s and a 10. Let's remember that. So two 20s. Is there a nicer 20? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to set that over there. Okay. Let me count this out again. Make sure I have 173. Oh, sweet Lord. I'm all over the place. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. That's so much better. So much. That was like a janky show of the bills. But anyway, that is so much better. And my envelope can now breathe. She's not busting at the seam. Because I was worried like it's going to break. Okay, so for my car tags, I did just get my um, registration that was done. And now I'm starting over. I should have wiped it. Still have not. So I am going to add eight. And that is what I should be putting in every week to get to my goal. And I don't know what it's gonna be for next year. We're just winging it here. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let me see. I should, I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it. I was like, let me condense. No, let's just leave it alone. That way we can leave that for another day, yeah? Okay. Now let's get into Christmas. Now Christmas gets the same amount every week as long as I am able to and I have been able to so far. So I'm gonna put a 25 in there with that fake 20. It's not, I don't think it's fake. I just keep saying that because it looks so, it just looks suspicious. Okay, so we should have 445. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400 in the bank. 20, 30, 40, 45. Okay, good. That is correct. And again, I am super caffeinated, guys. <laughs> My daughter went to um, one of the cafes that's here close to our house and I also asked her hey do you think you could pick me up a Starbucks so she got me a venti brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso and whoo I am a little jittery I probably should have eaten I don't it's already late in the day all right college is going to get five so college has 100 200 in the bank so 50 60 75 so 275 All right, emergency, same amount pretty much every week. It's getting a five. Oh, I forgot. Let me do this first. Okay, so emergency has 100, 200, 250, 260, 270, 275. So I didn't even tell you guys in the beginning of this video, which I should have, I got my first YouTube check. So yay, I received that on the 21st and I was paid $101. So I took out my tithes, I took out my taxes and I am going to stuff $80. So I'm putting 40 in, well 81, 40 into one envelope and 41 into another. But I think moving forward, what I'm gonna do is use my YouTube checks whenever I get them lord willing for my savings challenges because my savings challenges do get like whatever's left over but i kind of want to just put that towards my savings so thank you guys all so much for watching the ads subscribing liking my videos if you share my content i really do appreciate you guys so 
I am going to do a giveaway and I don't know if I had told you guys that before but that's what I wanted to do with once I got my first YouTube check and I'm still waiting on getting some items in so I can't exactly go over the rules or what's going to be included because I need to wait until I get those things so again thank you guys so 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 much okay now later me is going to get five and that's for my retirement every 100 I deposit into my fidelity and I invest so for later me I have 100 200 250 260 270 280 81 282 dollars so I'm getting close I am very close to another hundred which I could invest which is very exciting for me because there was a time where I had no money okay so my no days off envelope is a new envelope that I added to my binder uh, a week ago because it's gonna be my second week now so there are other budgeters on here who have like a PTO envelope a sick day envelope things like that so I wanted to create this one because I only get 40 hours of sick pay and that's our cap for the year I don't get holiday pay I don't get anything else like that so I need to look out for myself I mean I have my husband but I don't need daddy paying for everything you know what I mean okay so no days off was getting it's gonna get 45 so it's getting nope it's getting a 40 from my YouTube check and then it's also going to get a five which is if the usual stuffing because I wanted a kind of starter off strong ten dollars is strong for me okay guys <laughs> okay so no days off now has 20 40 55 so that is great I mean that covers <laughs> that covers a couple of hours right there but that isn't you know anyway I still have a, a ways to go with that one I just continue to stuff I have no goal for this I just I'm thinking maybe 1200 I'll be comfortable with that all right, so for taxes, now, this was originally for my husband and myself when we file at the start of the new year for our personal taxes, but this is also going to be for my YouTube taxes whenever, Lord willing, I get those checks. So I'm going to put a total of 20 in there, and I did go ahead and color in my little cars here. So I got this from Pink Cloth Co., and this was a freebie that I got with the orders when I got my budgeting stickers. So now taxes has 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53 dollars. My original goal was 200. That should be for our personal, um, mm -mm -mm, what's it called, filing, but I do need to add additional because I am new to this. I have never had like my own business like this. I did personal training, but when I did that, it was like strict cash and you know, um, moving on. Okay, so for vacation, vacation is going to get 25. And that's the usual amount that I put in here. Okay, so let me see, let me see. And this is for our family vacation. My goal is $1,000. We don't know. Oh, we don't know where we're going to go with our family. And I have an update, which I am... I want to do the update in my savings challenge video. I'm going to do the shout outs and let you guys know where we are going for our couple's vacation. So vacation now has 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 85, 90, 95. No, girl, stop. Okay, I have 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, and 15. So 615. Good Lord. That was ridiculous. Okay. So since I have 615, I do need to take out another 100. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. <gasps> oh no. Okay. Because I don't want to. I mean, she kind of busted. When? What year is this? 88. No, we're going to keep that. Okay. So let me take this 20 and I'll put this one in here. I like to keep the older bills. Um, I see a lot of you guys do that as well, so I'm sure you feel me on that. So we do 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so I have my placeholders here. Okay, so 615. And then let me put this. I'm not going to put it in my back to bank pouch yet because. Mm, I need to write it down. Okay, so vacation is on a roll. And most likely our vacation is going to be in, I want to say May, but I don't think that's going to work because we're doing our couple's vacation in June. That's too close for me. I need I need time to prepare for work because I'm the office manager and I do have 
um, an assistant there who is awesome, but that's a lot to put on her. You know what I mean? Okay. So next we're going to jump into short term and, oh, I didn't tell you guys long terms total amount that was stuffed was, okay, so the total amount for the long term binder, that ain't even right. Okay. I don't even have that amount guys because it says something different, but it also included my penny challenge, which is not correct. So let's just let's just move on oh and i had this pouch sitting here that whole time you guys didn't even tell me like girl move your pouch okay so let's just jump into short term so for short term i do have that amount here for you guys that's going to be 90 dollars total that is going to be stuffed okay so beauty every envelope is going to get something so beauty's going to get a five you guys know this is my five dollar binder that's what i should have really named her as why are you being funky stop what's going on are you fighting? Okay. So beauty has 10, 20, 25, and 30 dollars. Can we? So this envelope is mainly for my kids, but it can be used for the family. This is so when my kids ask, can we go here? Can we go there? Can we do this? Can we do that? Can I get this or that? That's what I take from here. So that's going to get a five and we now have $20 in there. This envelope is so loved. I mean, this is the most revolving envelope I have legit. Okay. Clothing. No, no, no. Ooh, she's pulling a five. The only one that's going to get Auto amounts is going to be personal investments and holidays. So, okay, so clothing has 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, $37. Don't need anything right now. My girls are good. I just went through their clothes. The only one who might need something is my oldest daughter, but she also has a job. So she likes to, believe me, she likes to spend her money. So I think she's good on that. And I don't need anything. I'm good. Okay, so daddy has, he got a five. Daddy has 20, 30, 45. And his birthday is coming up in May. And then there's also Father's Day that will be coming up. So, yay. All right, garden. Garden is, sorry, give me a minute, guys. I see my kids. They're playing in the pool. Oh, my gosh. They are so rough. My daughters are not all dainty. My daughters are, yeah, oh, they're out there thugging it. Okay, so garden gets a five. And I have five. 10, 15, 20, 21 dollars in there. Oh, one's pouting. Oh my goodness. Probably gonna have to run out there and see. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sure the whole neighborhood hears this. Good lord. Okay, so garden gets a five. I told you, we're a legit loud house. Okay, gar or gifts has 10, 20, 30 dollars. What do we have coming up? Oh, my niece's birthday is next week and we're actually having her birthday party here so i need to get her something mm, 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 mm. giveaways is going to get five this is mainly for the postage for shipping and now giveaways has 10 20 25 26 dollars and from my last well it's going to be different sizes of boxes or envelopes okay never mind i'm not going to go off of that health and fitness so health and fitness i am saving for my it's the eye care club renewal from america's best and that is a little over a hundred dollars so i'm saving for that but i'm wondering i'm putting a five in but i'm wondering if the insurance is going to help with that i need to find that out okay so health and fitness has 20 40 50 60 61 62 63 64 dollars I want to say my goal is probably like 109 is what I'm guessing with like tax and all. So we will see. All right, holidays. This bad boy was wiped clean. It's going to start with a 10. And this is going to be most likely for Halloween. So I have a good ways to go. Let me know if there are any. Fourth of July, my husband usually takes care of. Uh, but let me know if I'm missing any holidays because I usually do. All right, so for home maintenance, that's going to get a 5. These, these are really annoying me. Okay, so home maintenance now has 20, 40. <sighs> really? That five is ripped. Okay, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58 dollars. Investments. So investments is going to get 10. Yes. She's going to get a 10, so she's now at 14 dollars. I just have janky bills all together all right so kiddos activities 
they are going to get their usual five kiddos activities and this is for book fairs this is for picture day this is for their uh, taekwondo this is also for summer camp which my girls want to do so we now have 20 30 40 41 dollars are your kids going to do any summer camp things if so let me know what they are doing what they're into i hear a lot of basketball camp so let me know what's Oh, I was like, what's going on here? Let me know what you guys are doing. Okay, so this is my miscellaneous envelope. And right now, this is mainly for my brother and my soon-to-be sister-in-law's wedding. I want to save $300 for my dress and shoes. That's if they don't pay for it. I hope they do because that would be awesome. Um, but if not, I'm going to try to cover that. And then I also want to gift them $300 as a wedding present if I get to that amount. So... I'm putting a five in. I have a hundred in the bank, so we now have a hundred and five. This tracker I got from Row Budgets in one of her videos in her description box. She had a whole bunch of freebies. I have not updated this. I have, let me see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. Oh, Lord Jesus. I really need to, did I do that right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 95. Okay, so I need to go through and update that, but I haven't done that yet, so I will. In the next video, it should be updated as long as well as like all of my dashboard trackers too. Okay, so personal planner. This is for anything that I might need for budgeting related, um, personal wise. I don't know what that would be, but anyway. Okay, so we're gonna put a oh, we're gonna put a ten in there actually. Okay, so personal planner has 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 dollars. Oh, I put a five. Let me just. I'm going to change this. What did I say it was? 39. And I don't like to do this, but just for right now, until I can get my alcohol wipe and go through and clean that off. So let's leave that as is. Let it dry. Okay. Get in there. All right. Next up is going to be pets. This is the very last envelope and pets is going to get a five. So now we have 20, 30, and 35 dollars. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is it for the short term. So now I will get my month ahead binder. Okay, I did it right. <laughs> okay, so for month ahead, let me pull that here. Okay, month ahead is going to get a total of 45 but I think that's wrong because I have oh did I put oh no let me look in my long term let me see if I actually put 46 in no days off I didn't I was supposed to put 46 so my tracker will be off but that's okay I'm gonna take this one okay so I actually have 56 in no days off not 55 okay all right, so now let's get into month ahead. All right, so for month ahead, it's supposed to get $45. And I also have the breakdown. Let me get back on here, guys. Okay, so I have the breakdown of what I wanna do with my funds that I have. Come on, let's do it. Okay, sorry, she lags sometimes. All right, so let's first look at the dashboard that we have here. Okay, so the total amount that I wanna have saved in this binder alone is $2,294. It is a lot, but I know I can do it. So it's gonna take time, but I mean, I got time. All right, so we're gonna put 45 and that's the remaining amount that I have over here. So now the total amount that I have that needs to be dispersed is 20, 40, 50, 60 dollars. And what I need to do is see if I can make change really quick, which I should be able to because I have this and I need to have okay so let me break it down this is going to be a little bit longer video but I need to have one two three four five fives two ten three tens one two three four five six fives six fives and three tens so I have four five six and just in case you guys are wondering this is my back to bank pouch so this is the money that was in my uh, for my unstuffing which i will link here in case you guys are curious on what was taken out and then i need to have three tens which i oh i do have okay so one two three four five six seven eight 
two and three. Okay, so let me count this out. So we have, oh wait, I don't want to start confusing myself. Hold on, hold on now. Okay, so 20 they don't need, so that's 40. So let's see here, 10, 20, 30, $40. Okay, just making sure, 10, 20, 30, 40, yes. And here's the 40 here, so I'm gonna put these in here. Let me still make sure, okay. All right, there's just a whole lot going on right now. So let me count this out and make sure this right here should be, ooh, I don't even know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, that's correct, because that's what I'm showing on my laptop screen. So what I wanted to do is first, let me put this tracker away. Okay, and this envelope here just holds the money until I figure out what's gonna go where. So let's first start with internet. So internet is, no, we're not starting with internet. We're starting with electric. Electric is going to get 10. So electric in my uh, month ahead has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 dollars. So my tracker should show 50 plus the 10, 60. Okay, good, we're on track. That's why I don't like doing my videos without updating my dashboard trackers because I like to look back and make sure, okay, you're on you're on track, you're on track, but mm, I didn't. And in case you are wondering, I made these envelopes, but I did get the, the vinyl from Nestler Designs. I love going to her shop. She, and she does custom, so I mean, guys, check her out. She's on Etsy. Okay, now for internet. Internet is going to get a $5 bill. So let me just, I can't do it like this. Okay, so now I have 15 in internet and my goal is 88 and my goal for electricity is way up there. My goal for my electricity is 488. Internet should have 10, which I don't think I'm seeing here. That's wrong. Oh, no, 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 plus the 515. Girl, stop. Okay, so the gas for our home that is going to get that. So this is a very low amount every month. It's anywhere, it ranges from 20 to $30. So I put a five in. So now we have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm just gonna, this is the last one I'm gonna do. Yes. Okay, that's on track. Okay, and this $1 here is from my unstuffing. I had an extra dollar in my T-Mobile envelope, so that's why this is showing here. And it's gonna get a five. So I'm actually gonna be adding $6 to my phone. And my phone, let's see here, okay. Okay, so she has 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, $30. I lie, it's not gonna be the last one I look at. Let me see. So we had 24, 25, 35, 20, oh no, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Okay, we're on track with that one. Okay, now insurance, this is for my auto insurance, and this is a this one's a pretty hefty bill. It's 250 a month. Oh, you are sticking. Okay, so this one's going to get five as well. So now she has 25, 26, 27 dollars. I already know it's gonna be a long video, guys. Feel free to hit that two times speed. All right, fuel is also going to get a five. Let me make sure, hold on. Okay, yes, fuel's gonna get a five. Then I should have 10 and, okay, 15, we're on track. Okay, so now fuel has $20 total in it. This goal is pretty hefty, especially because of the increase in fuel. I wanna say my goal is like 500? No, 250, oh, okay, 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 that's doable. Now for groceries, this one is going to get $15, and that's because that is a substantial amount. So now groceries has 10, 20, 30, 35, and $40 in it. Okay. 
<laughs> this envelope just like I'll do what I want look at that okay so car note she's gonna get the last 10 so no car note has 10 20 30 and 35 oh sweet Jesus I need to get ready okay so that is it I went ahead and I dispersed all of the money for my month ahead binder and that is it for this video again this was part one for the fourth pay of april i want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me i really do appreciate you guys please comment like and subscribe if you do enjoy my content and until next time bye